Hey everybody, it's Julie here and today I'm going to be attempting to make a desk out of plastic crates. So you're about to see what's going on. Okay, this is my plastic crate and the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to just simply put two together. So I have two crates that are going to fit together kind of long ways if you can see here. Now they're long ways. So in order for them to stick together, I'm going to put a little bit of Gorilla Glue inside these little sections where it connects. So what I've now done is I added the Gorilla Glue in and then attached this one to the very top. But I'm not sure how that glue that's going to stay, so I'm going to go ahead and on the side holes here, I'm going to go ahead and add a zip tie just to make sure that that's going to so, stay. Good. As you can see here, I went ahead and put a zip tie on the side to kind of hold it. And then I'm going to take the scissors and just trim off the access so we don't have that. And there we go. Okay, then I went ahead and put one on the other side did the same thing so I can keep that really secure. Now, I'm going to be adding a whole nother level onto the back. I'm using blue because you're not going to see the back. I wanted the front to be pink. So on the back, it doesn't matter what color. These are all extra crates I had. And since they don't actually like fit inside there, I'm just going to simply zip tie those in also. So as you can see, I've simply put a zip tie here, kind of towards the back. And then when I get done, this all be covered so you won't see that. But this is just going to keep it secure. And I do the same thing here with the other side. And then I'll just cut off the extra. Now I'm going to add some more of this Gorilla Glue into these little sections. And go ahead and put another blue crate on top. Once I have finished that and got it on, then I'm going to go ahead and zip tie those two together to make sure it's still more secure. And trim that off. So there we have it. This is the first part of our desk. This will be the front and then we're going to make one exactly like it to put on the other side okay so now both sections are secured together and I place them about the width apart that I think I will need so I can put a chair under here in the middle and these crates are great because they're about the height you would need for a desk so right now I'm going to go and I'm going to measure how long it is from one edge over here to the other and how wide. Because I want to have a board to lay on the top, but in order to do that, I need to measure this. So that's what I want to do right now. Alright, so we've measured and we're going to need about a 53 inches by about 21. So we're going to go ahead and find us a board. Okay, so I found this board and... It's almost the perfect length that I need. So now I'm measuring 21 inches wide. I'm going to draw a line up here so that my husband can just cut that off. So I've measured up my fabric. I'm going to put my piece of foam board down here. So you can see like so. Then I'm just going to fold it over and I'm going to staple it. Okay, so I have stapled the fabric on the back of this foam board. So you can see it looks pretty good. Doesn't matter how the back looks because it's not going to show anyway so this is the front. Okay so what I've done is I have cut out the board and I simply stapled on the back this like fake leathery material because I did not want to stain it and this is going to be an easy way to do it. So here's what the back looks like after I stapled it on. So this is what it looks like when I turn it over. And it's going to be able to be just wiped clean if it gets dirty. So this is why I chose this kind of cover. Okay, so what I've done, I just drilled little holes in the sides and in the back. I'll have these covered up. And I'm going to take the zip ties through the little holes. I'm just going to pull it through to tighten that desktop on. Okay, so I have secured the top. Now I'm going to put the side on. Remember, this is just that foam board covered with fabric. And what I'm going to do is right in the middle, I'm going to just put two little holes and then just zip tie that thing from the back. 
So if you can see inside here, I just ran it around two of those, put it right through there. You could barely see that because it's gonna be clear. Okay, so I covered another tag board with some uh, fabric. Actually, this is like leather kind of fabric and I'm just gonna attach it right here to the inside of the desk. Okay, so now I'm gonna make the top of the desk and I'm using these little 97 cent crates from Walmart to make the top. What I'm gonna do is take some of this Gorilla Glue, put in these little holes here, and I'm gonna stack first uh, four high. So we're gonna put four of these on top of each other, like so. Okay, so I put five, or actually four down, and then one up here because I'm going to make two of these and connect them at the top. So now I have my two sections. I'm going to stand them up and put them together. So one thing you want to make sure you do is know which side's going out. So now I got to switch one around. So here's the front of the desk. This is going to be the topper, but I'm going to get some foam board, cover it with fabric, and put on the back of it first. But as you can see, this is looking pretty nifty. Inside there. And nice looking desk. Okay, people, this is my final desk. I went ahead and put two more smaller crates in it, so it made it kind of a square, and that just gave it a little more stability. I put just some foam board and covered it in fabric on the back, added some pictures on the top. Everything looks pretty good. I'll let you see kind of a back way here. I think if I changed anything, I would have used black uh, zip ties with the black crates. But other than that, I think it looks pretty good.